cracking, ladies and gentle folk. And uh, today is a little bit different. Uh, I'm out. I'm out. Well, you guys can see. Uh, it is kind of dark out. It's probably about like six or seven o'clock at night or so. And uh, I had some stuff to do in the house, some powder coating. Uh, I, I, you know, did some stuff around the house, but uh, now I actually have time to actually work on Sapphire. But uh, I don't know if I'm going to uh, include a couple of things that I did before. But let's make our way over to the uh, to the garage over here. But uh, I did start the video. I don't know, like a couple days or the next day after the last video. The problem is, is that. I got to a point where I couldn't, I couldn't do anything else. So I'm at the point right now where I can, because I have new ARP, uh, you know, uh, what do you want to call those? Pressure plate, pressure plate bolts. So now I can actually get some of this stuff done. So I don't know if I'm going to include what I did. Uh, you know, I don't know if I'm going to include what I did from the last video or if I'm just going to, uh, say screw it and just start a, a brand new video i'm not exactly sure but uh if well yeah maybe i will maybe i will make this the new video but uh i do have the cherry picker in front of me and i'm jacking the motor up just a little bit here just so i can actually do this but uh we do have we do have the turbo on have all the accessories on uh power steering we have the accessory belt on uh, I have all the cooling stuff on the tur well, obviously the turbo. Uh, so everything is pretty much ready to go uh, back together as long as I can actually get the flywheel on. The one thing that was holding me up was uh, I had these. These were pretty much brand new. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure you. I probably could have reused these bolts with no problem. The flywheel bolts. The, the, you know the issue is is that uh one one i had a messed up bolt let me find it here yeah here we go i had a messed up bolt here so when i took this motor all apart this is what i kind of had to do i had to get this and get a good bite on this so uh all the rest of them were pretty decent besides a, a couple marring around the uh the edging but I didn't really want to reuse them if I didn't have to. Uh, so, I don't know. The fastest ones that I could actually get were from ARP. Uh, they are 12 point, I don't know, like half inch or something like I don't know what they are. But they're made for this car. So, I'm just going to use what I have. And, uh, and not really mess around with it too, too much. Because if I do, then... Uh, you know things things will just be bad so i really don't want to do anything bad with this car uh, I, I just want to get it running and uh everything to work good so what i'm going to do is i'm going to set the camera up over here and uh we're just going to get right back to work and just try to uh hold this crank crank together and uh get these bolts on so let me get all set up and uh yeah then i can get uh get everything rolling so the the uh the expectation for today is to try to get this, to try to get the motor, well, the long block mated with the transmission over there. And uh, like I said before, the last time I started this video, I thought I was just going to be, it was just going to be a one, two, three thing, but it's definitely not, unfortunately. And in, in the next couple days or so here, since we have had some really nice weather, uh, I might just be rolling in. Uh, what I need I might be rolling in sapphire and putting it up here So I don't know we'll, we'll see in the next couple days here because I can get this thing running uh, This week if I really wanted to but I don't know what we're, we're just gonna have to see uh, Yes, when I started the last time I did have I did torque all the bolts down and such so there's no reason for me to show you guys that uh, I th And I think that's I honestly think that's it. So yeah, let me set the camera up let me get this flywheel bolts on and then uh, we can get the pressure plate wherever the pressure plate is with the clutch. Oh, it's over there. Uh, and then we can get uh, we can get rocking with this. And hopefully the audio is is better than my last video because uh, spoiler alert, it was it was pretty horrendous if I do say so myself. Um, but yeah, let's let's just keep going.
So I finally got those uh, those bolts on It took me a little bit. I had to actually like clean out the uh, the threads So uh, so that I can actually like do this correctly, but that's done all torqued down ARP usually uh, it, it says says 95 foot-pounds 95 foot-pounds so how to get my thing out, but yeah, so now it's time to kind of move on here and uh, get the clutch and the flywheel mated and we can get the transmission mated to everything. So yeah, we're just gonna keep it moving. I jacked it up just a little bit here. So that actually I have like a little bit more access, accessibility to the clutch and flywheel itself. But yeah, let's keep it going. <music> That took me a little longer than I expected, but the transmission is mated to the long block, so which is good. What I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna look for these transmission bolts. I think they're actually in the car. Uh, hopefully they're not in the car, because then I don't have to go searching for it. Uh, you know, it's probably in the trunk, which is not that big of a deal, but uh, I still do need to get this thing all connected and ready to go. But one of the things that are very important, gotta make sure, Got to make sure of this. So whenever you're uh, mounting these two, this is a pull type clutch. So you will have to make sure that the spring does engage the throwout bearing and uh, and then you should be fine. So make sure of that. But uh, yeah, let me uh, let me find these bolts and I'll move. I'll shift everything from the long block and the transmission over here onto uh, onto this dolly. And then I could actually start working on everything together. So. Uh, I'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, folks. So very uneventful video, but I still wanted to make it for you guys to make you, uh, so just to show you guys an update with what's going on. But uh, I do have the long block. I do have everything together, ready to go. And uh, do have the starter on down there. I do have all the bolts in top and bottom. I do have the shields together. I pretty much have it all uh Pretty much all together so i'm still debating on whether i should uh when i take sapphire and put her in the bay over here i don't know if i'm going to pull the subframe uh pull the subframe put it on the ground and uh i could possibly possibly just uh you know put the transfer case on do everything like that and then put it up into the car that actually might be easier um, but I'm like I said, I'm still debating on what, what I want to do. Uh, I know I powder coated. If I'm not mistaken, I did powder coat the uh, the subframe. So everything should be pretty simple just to get off of there. Uh, all I really need to do actually is to separate the, uh, what do you want to call that? The power steering rack. If I can do that, then I could drop the subframe and then I could put the transfer case on, put everything together and then everything will just go up in one piece and then uh yeah i, I don't know I, I might just do that I'm, I'm not exactly sure but it should be a short video hopefully 
and uh i don't know if i if i do this transfer case thing then i might as well just do the uh do the intake manifold as well yeah i, I don't know i might just do that i, I have to see uh I'm not really gonna repaint the transmission at all. Like, I mean, I don't know. It's not like it's a, a major thing of contention here, but it does work. It rolls pretty fine. I, I don't know what to say about it, but uh, I didn't put the, the pipe back on for the coolant just because I'm just gonna have to do it over anyway. So I might as well just hold off on doing that. But yes, this is where I'm gonna leave this video off next video i will be moving this out i will be moving this out and i'll probably be moving the sti out because the sti is pretty clean uh i was hoping to have it sold by now but it is what it is if i have to move it over into the uh to the carport then i will do that for sure but yes this is why i'm gonna leave this video off hopefully you enjoyed the content if you do please give me a like and uh think about subscribing until next time, I will see you then. Deuces.